There you are, Ezio. Why so serious? It's my birthday. Davvero? Cento di questi giorni. That's wonderful. Is it? It's been over ten years since I watched my father and brothers die. Ten years hunting the men responsible. So close to the end now, but... No closer to understanding what any of it was for. You may not see it, Ezio, but it's better here now because of the things you've done. Basta. Look here. I have a birthday present for you. It's L'Arsenale's shipping manifest. From the day the boat left. The boat to Cyprus? You're serious. And guess when it's scheduled to return? Tomorrow. It's you. Leonardo! When did you get back? Just now. I need to talk to you. Right away. <laughs> Go on. Have fun, boys. It's better be good. Oh, it is. It is. Walk with me. Stay close. These last two codex pages. I was studying the copies. I don't know why I never saw it before. But when put together, I realize the markings on the back clarify into words. Here. The Prophet will appear when the second piece is brought to the floating city. Prophet? Only the Prophet may open it. Two pieces of Eden. What are you saying? Ezio, what is this? We've known each other a long time, Leonardo. If I can't trust you, there is nobody. My uncle Mario spoke of it long ago. A prophecy hidden in the Codex. Leading to an ancient vault that holds something very powerful. Grandioso. But if you took these pages from the Barbarigo, then maybe they know about this vault too. That's not good. Wait. What if that's why they sent the ship to Cyprus? To find this piece of Eden and bring it back to Venezia. When the second piece is brought to the floating city, the Prophet will appear. Only the Prophet can open the vault. My God! When my uncle told me about the Codex, I was too young, too brash to imagine it was anything but an old man's fantasy. But now I see. The killing of Mochenigo. Even the Medici. My father and brothers. It was all part of his plan. To find the vault. The Spaniard. Rodrigo Borcha. The boat from Cyprus arrives tomorrow. I plan to be there to meet it. Good luck, my friend. Oh, joy, our Lord is here.
Thank you, Altair, for this great gift. May it shield me from my enemies. Thank you, Ezio, for not forgetting about... Where are they taking it?
Isn't there a decent thing? This mighty man, he keeps the poor. The strong of the mighty He keeps the maiden's hope and more. His lips raise to Denaro! Moneta! Denaro! Following the increase in accidents and drownings upon the Grand Canal, a decree has been brought into effect. Barring excessive drinking while at the hair! I'd probably hurt. <laughs> That applies to just such things. You won't be where you are. Just take a look. Maestro awaits. He will not suffer mistakes. Package it correctly. Do it now. The Spaniards here? That changes things. If I can infiltrate this group, take the place of the courier, they'll lead me right to the Filio di Putana. Go away, Tom. Still. Please, sir. Won't you help a poor lady out of his back? Come, spend an hour, you'll never forget. We've got the finest dancers in this place. This strong man is very cool. Haven't I been? I've seen you before. Hey, hold on! I have a question for you. What? Sir, this is a moment of great importance. Stay in formation. Make this right.
really have it? You were not followed. Absolutely. Everything went perfectly. We have followed your orders exactly as specified. The mission to Cyprus was more difficult than expected. There were complications. But we have returned with the artifact and have carefully transported it to you as instructed. We look forward to being generously compensated, as I'm sure you have already considered. Ah! Ezio, it's been some time. No, no, leave him to me. Rodrigo, so, where is he? <laughs> Who? Your prophet. Doesn't look like anybody showed up, Rodrigo. How many people have died for these? For what's in this box? And look, there's nobody here. <laughs> you claim not to be a believer, and yet here you are. Don't you see him? The prophet is already here. I am the prophet. Now give me the apple. Come and take it from me. That's all you have. Where is the rest of your people? What people? You really have no idea, do you? Guards! Nepote, you are not alone. Olpe? What are you doing here? We could very well ask you the same thing. We? Save your questions, brother. Don't let Borja leave with that box. Avanti! Now, you all shall die. You're right behind me! Come on, the Kodan! All of you! My young son! I'm going for more stuff! Ah, drop! This is pathetic! He cannot stop me! Sweet! What kind of a boss is out of my mind? Look, my friend! Hey! 
He's gone, but we have what we came for. No. I need to go after him. Do you really now? Or are you here for another reason, my son? Theodora! What? What are you all doing here? Perhaps the same thing you are, Ezio. Hoping to see the Prophet appear. I came here to kill the Spaniard. I couldn't care less about your Prophet. He never showed up. No? But you did. What? A prophet's arrival was foretold. And unbeknownst to us, here you are. Perhaps all along, you were the one we sought. Cosa? Who are you? Niccolò di Bernardo de Machiavelli. I am an assassin, trained in the ancient ways to safeguard mankind's evolution. Just like you, and each one of us here. You are all assassins? Paola. Volpe, it's true, Nepote. We have all been guiding you for years, teaching you the skills you would need to join our ranks. I think it's time. We have our prize, but there is much to be done. Come, meet us here at sunset. Shea Waka Umutlak Bel Kulun Munkin. These are the words spoken by our ancestors that lay at the heart of our creed. Where other men blindly follow the truth, remember. Nothing is true. Where other men are limited by morality or law, remember. Everything is permitted. We work in the dark to serve the light. We are assassins. Nothing, Nothing is true. true. Everything, Everything is permitted. permitted. It is time, Ezio. In this modern age, we are not so literal as our ancestors, but our seal is no less permanent. Are you ready to join us? I am. This only hurts for a while, brother. Like so many things. Benvenuto, Ezio. You are one of us now. Come, we have much to do. Are you okay? Do you want to stop? No! I need to go back. Right now. Uh-oh. Oh dear. Sean? Of course. How could I have forgotten? You want to share with the rest of us? Rodrigo Borgia is elected Pope in 1492. Which means Ezio's greatest enemy is now also the most powerful man in Italy. Always wanted to visit the Vatican. 
Well, your luck's in, Desmond. Happy days. Because that's exactly where you're going. Fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. What is it, Leonardo? What does he do? I could no more explain this than explain to you why the Earth goes around the Sun. You mean, the Sun around the Earth? It's fabricated with materials that shouldn't exist. And yet, this is clearly a very ancient artifact. The Codex refers to it as... a piece of Eden. The Spaniard. He called it the Apple. Like Eve's Apple, of forbidden knowledge. Are you then suggesting that this thing... This must never fall into the wrong hands. It would drive weaker minds insane. No doubt the Spaniard will be relentless in his desire to gain it back. Ezio, you must protect this with all the skills we have taught you. Take it to Forli. The citadel is walled, protected by cannons, and our ally controls it. Who is this ally? Her name is Katarina Sforza. You don't say. I think I may enjoy this mission. Thank you for everything, my oldest friend. Leonardo, Ezio tells me you travel off into Milano. I have a grand villa in Toscana. You must come visit me there. Well, well. Look who it is. Madonna. I thought when we met you were a bit special, but... an assassin. Hmm. Walk with me, Caro. You're going to love Forli. The cannons in Arcitadella alone go back a hundred years. The artifact will be quite safe there. Forgive me, but I've never heard of a woman ruling her own city before. It's very impressive. Well, it was my husband's before, of course. He died. Oh. Sorry. Don't be. I had him killed. Oh. <clears throat> we discovered Girolamo Riario was working for the Templars, making a map of the locations of the remaining Codex pages. I never liked the goddamn son of a bitch anyway. He was a lousy father, boring in bed. And a pain in my ass. Look! I want no part of this! Oh no! Aspetta! What's happening? They came as soon as you left the city walls, Signora. The city is under attack. What? By who? The Orsi brothers, signora. Oh, sangue di Giuda. Who are the Orsi? The same canali I hired to kill my husband. It's the Spaniard, of course. The Orsi have no world view bigger than their purse. But how could he know where we were taking the apple before we even knew? Because they're not here for the apple, Ezio. They're after Riario's map. Basta with your map, Nicolo. My children are inside. Oh, porco demonio. Get him! 
Already inside! Double-crossing bastards! Is there another way into this place? Aspetta! Perhaps yes. There's an old tunnel under the western wall from the canal. Bene. I'll be right back. Hey! You! Yeah, I'm talking to you! You spineless dogs! You occupy my city, my home! You think I'm going to stand here and do nothing about it? How about I come up there and rip your ballet off? Go back down, or I shoot. Get down now. Another mercenary. That man. He's not He's right now. Get him. Oh, not my boy. I don't see him. There he is. Lajou. I'm with you! He can't escape! Hey!
Into the citadella! Bambini! But where are Bianca and Ottaviano? Forgive me, signora. They were playing outside when the attack began. I don't know where they are. Reinforcements from the mountains! They are breaching the citadel! Ezio, don't let those bastardi get in here! With me!
hurry, get him! Caterina! Caterina Sforza! I know you're in there! I have something you may want back! Are you missing any children? And Ezio Auditore! What a pleasant surprise! I take it you would be the Orsi brothers. Ludovico! And Gecko! At your service! Basta! Where are my children? Let them go! Of course, signora. We'll happily give them back for something of yours. A certain map. And a certain apple, brother. See, si, a certain apple indeed. Or shall I slice your baby's necks ear to ear? Bastardi! You think you can threaten me? I'll give you nothing! You want my children? Take them! I have the instrument to make more! When you change your mind, they'll be in the village, outside the city! You have one hour! <sighs> Katerina, no. I can't ask you to sacrifice your children. Nobody's sacrificing anything. Go get them back for me, Ezio. Si. You have my word. The apple needs to remain in the citadel. Keep this safe. Someone holding stunts like that. Is this all the men you have to hold me? Stop it. It won't be enough. My mama is fierce. We sports are women are no wilting flowers. Stop acting like a baby! Where are your balls? Ah. <laughs> you shouldn't be here! 
fool to send you. Or are you the fool, dying for a handful of change? Was it worth it? More than you know, the maestro gains his prize because of me. Mori col tuo orgoglio, per quanto vale. Reguiescat in pace. Grazie, signore! What are you doing out here? I'm so sorry, Ezio. I'm so sorry. What happened? It was a trick to lower our defenses. As soon as you left, they attacked again. Keko Orsi, he has the apple. What? No! Where is he? We chased him out here. But the bastards escaped into the mountains. I'm going. What's up, me time? My recent good fortune finding new suppliers has paid off. And I Come see what pride, beauty, and years of experience can do for you. There he is, Your mind, assassin! I don't think. Your culo is my master! Don't lose him! your prize again was it worth it so much bloodshed <coughs> a prize of such value it will not remain yours for long we shall see che miseria nascono dalla vita requiescat in pace Wait. 
don't. Who are you? Stop. Don't open it. Are you all right? What happened to you? I... I don't know. One of my guards had the luck to find you in the hills. Next to Kek Orsi's dead body. See... That I remember. Wait... There was a third man. He took the apple. Who? He wore a black robe, like a monk. And I think... A missing finger... See, si. Katerina, I have to go right away. Of course. Then you will need this as well. The map Nicolo spoke of. Your husband's. Ex husband, mio caro. He swore he'd uncover the locations of all the Codex pages. You will recover the apple, but you will never find the vault without this. You know, there is an abbey in the wetlands near here where I've seen monks wearing black robes. I'd start there. Now go. Find us a stramaladetto monk. I think I'm going to miss you, Katarina. Oh, I know you will. Signore, mention me to your amici. She's here. You insist in here. <laughs> Blessings on you, brother. Grazie. I wonder if you can help me. What do you see? A monk in black robes who lacks one of his ten fingers. Well, Brother Guido has only nine toes. You sure it wasn't a toe? Quite sure. And then there's Brother Domenico, but it's his entire left arm he's lacking. Again, quite sure it was a finger. Hmm. Now wait a moment. I do recall a black robed monk with nine fingers. Yes, of course. When we had our last San Vincenzo's feast at the Abbey. Yes, I know the place. I'll try there. Grazie. Go in peace, brother. I always do. Excuse me, brother. I wonder if you can... Uh, uh, unholy demon! Get away! What's wrong? You're the one who killed Brother Stefano! Brothers, the killer of monks has returned! Jesus, save us! 
must be the ultimate. Please, Granazione, too hot for me. Just let me go. I'm no Batman. All Batman. What's got your riches in the bag? Please, no! I don't want to die! I only kill those who kill others. And your brother Stefano was a killer. I'm sure you are no such thing. Now, listen to me. I'm looking for a black-robed monk who's missing a finger. Missing a finger, you say? Do you mean, like, Fra Savonarola? Savonarola? Who is this? You know him? I did. He was one of us, for a time. And then? We suggested he retire to a hermitage for a good long time. I'm afraid to say his retreat has come to an end. Where would he have gone? Oh dear. Santo Spirito? In Firenze? It's where he studied. Perhaps it's where he would return. I thank you. Go with God, brother. Hey Desmond, I think I repaired that busted memory. Why don't you try opening it? <laughs> 